Hey guys, welcome back. A while ago I made a video all about moment lenses and how they look and how they work on the iPhone. I couldn't show you every lens at the time as I only had a few of them, but since then I've made a video all about their gold flare anamorphic and I've just now recently picked up their 58mm telly and their 14mm fisheye, which I'll be showing you today. And I figured that I might as well make a little sort of update video now that I've got the complete set. So once again, I'm going to be showing you these on an iPhone 12 Pro Max, but if you've got any of the iPhone 13 models, Moment have confirmed that all of their current lenses work fine with all of the iPhone 13s, with one small exception being that you can't use the tele lens over the 13 Pro Max's 3x tele camera. The 13's cameras aren't drastically different to the 12's, so this video should still give you a rough idea of what to expect if you have a newer iPhone. I talked a lot last time about the benefits of using lens attachments like these and how they can allow you to shoot in ways that you can't using your phone's native cameras, like using the anamorphic for that cinematic wide look with lens flares. Now you might be wondering why I'd even bother getting the tele lens when my phone already has a tele camera built in. Well, this lens can be mounted over your phone's standard wide camera, which, as I explained last time, this has a much wider aperture than the actual tele camera, and that means you can take better quality, less noisy, low-light tele shots when using this lens. So let's take a quick look at the build of the lenses, and then I'll show you some shots and videos from both. Like moments of the lenses, these are really solidly built. Made from metal enclosures with glass lens elements, you can really feel the quality of them and they feel really nice and weighty. Plus they each come with a rubber lens cap for protecting the front glass, and a microfiber carry pouch which can double as a lens wipe. In my first video I showed you how and what you'd need to mount the lenses to your phone, so go check that out if you'd like to learn more. But in short, you can mount the lenses using either a Moment case for certain phone models, or a lens mount if Moment doesn't make a case for your particular phone. So let's now take a look at some photos and videos taken with these, starting first with the telly. As you'd expect, this lens gets you closer to your subject, and thanks to the big sensor and wider aperture of the wide camera here on the 12 Pro Max, you get a really nice natural background blur and bokeh. It almost looks DSLR quality in some of these shots, it looks really nice. Portrait mode and the new cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 can somewhat emulate this look using dual cameras or software to build a depth map and selectively blur parts of the image but it doesn't always work as expected and it can sometimes mess up on finer details like hair or just look a little bit unnatural. But using the tele lens here, it's real and in camera and it's got a really nice aesthetic to it, the way that the blur just naturally rolls off into the distance. It's not just for photos, you can of course use it for video too. And again, it really does have that feel of footage shot on a big sensor camera. The depth of field really adds to that look. So how does it stack up against the native tele camera? Well, as we know, the 12 Pro Max has the standard 1x wide and the 2.5x tele. And while I do like the 2.5x, it can sometimes feel a little bit sort of too close and difficult to shoot with, particularly if you're shooting indoors, for example. I personally preferred the 2x zoom on the previous iPhones. It was just sort of perfect for me. When mounted over the wide, the 58mm tele sits somewhere between the 1x and the 2.5. It's more like a 1.8x. What's really handy is you can also mount the lens over the tele camera to get an even longer focal length, getting much closer than you can with the iPhone's cameras without having to use digital zoom, which does of course reduce quality. As I mentioned earlier, the lens isn't perfectly compatible with the 13 Pro's new 3X tele camera. I'm not able to test this myself, but Moment recommends that you don't pair the two together. It does work fine though over the 13's standard wide. I also touched on how you can shoot better low light photos using the lens versus using the native tele. Here I am using these lights in the glass jar as a light source, and I've locked off the camera settings using the Moment app so that we can see the difference. You can see how much brighter the Moment lens is here thanks to that bigger aperture on the wide camera, and this means that you can keep your ISO lower and your photos less noisy. Of course, for anyone with a 12 or 13 or any other phone which doesn't have its own built-in tele, you can use this lens to get that functionality of an optical tele without having to use digital zoom, which just isn't as good. Next up is the fisheye. This lens is super wide with a 170 degree field of view, which is about 30% wider than the built-in ultra-wide. There are multiple aspherical glass elements inside, and it just maximizes every corner of the image sensor to get that wide look. 
Because it's so wide, you do get that typical fisheye look with the curve distortion. But if you find it too much, using the Moment app, you can reduce or correct the amount to your liking when in the photo mode. Moment does make an actual wide lens with no distortion just to mention, which I did cover in my first lens video. I do quite like the distortion though, it's one of them lenses where you can really get creative with it and find new angles to shoot with. You can get into some really tight spaces with it, and it's really fun to use for architectural photography. Again, you can use this lens for video, and you could even use it to turn your phone into like a GoPro or an action camera, and it would be cheaper to do so than buying one of those outright if you bought this lens and maybe a harness or a head mount, if you feel comfortable with using your phone for things like that. I can't skateboard or rollerblade to save my life, but I can see this being really good for shooting and that kind of stuff if you're into it. The extra wideness will make it really easy to keep your subject in shot, and it also helps reduce some of that camera shake when getting those action shots. As with the telly, you can get better low light shots versus using the built-in ultra wide. So if you do do a lot of nighttime or low light shooting, you can get cleaner, less noisy images. And again, you can use it with night mode in the camera app, which can also be really useful. Both lenses are priced at $130 each, and if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll leave some links below. I love the look of the images and the footage that you can get from the tele lens. It really brings it to another level, especially on phones with big image sensors on their main cameras, like here on the 12 Pro Max, or on the new 13 lineup. The focal length sits nicely in between the 1 and 2.5x, and like I said, sometimes I just find the 2.5x a little bit too close and difficult to work with, especially indoors. For all these reasons, I'd definitely recommend getting a telly if, like me, you like using your phone for lots of photography and video, especially for anyone that has a phone that doesn't have a telly camera built in. I think you'll find it really useful. I picked up the fisheye, honestly, just to complete the set of lenses that I have, but I have been having a lot of fun with it, and I'm thinking of using it to turn my phone into a bit of an action cam when I can get traveling again. It'd be really fun to use it when like mountain biking or something if I can get a harness for it. Let me know below how you'd use it and if you've got any ideas for me to try out. If you're new here, do consider subscribing to see more tech videos from myself. I really hope that this video has helped you out. If it has, give it a like and let me know. And you can always drop a comment below and ask me any questions you might have about the lenses and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to check out my other lens videos, I'll link to them below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.